Richard. I hope you're well rested and ready for another night shift, yeah. I, I talked to a co-worker again today about your situation as the night guard and everything. And, you know, she, uh, she insisted that you had the right to know more about this place. And of, of course you do. So, you know, after the three establishments, the cafe, the microgame company and this factory, the owners and the workers disappeared in 2007, as I mentioned, but it has been rumored that a thief may have been responsible for the disappearance. It is said he was breaking into the factory to steal the secret recipe, you know, that I mentioned to you. Based on witnesses and the fact that Wario's mascot costume is still missing. It was a costume of himself, pretty much, a big costume, pretty much, that he used for Ma yeah, mascot purposes, commercials and stuff. And we still haven't found it yet, even seven years later now. Based on that, it is believed that this hypothetical thief used this very costume, because it is said that the thief, he took the lives of the five in the process. Actual murders, you know? But as I mentioned, no bodies has ever been found. We do not know for sure if the thief killed them or if something else happened because the thief himself also disappeared, never to be seen again. Six missing people, Richard. It's all a mystery. The thief is speculated to have been a man named Bruno. Bruno Gates, to be exact. Uh, he, I mean, the only evidence we have for that is his wife, uh, Dolores Gates, I think her name was. She reported her husband missing around the time of this incident, so, you know, you can make the connection that maybe it was the same guy? Of course, these are only rumors, yeah? But if we're being honest, that's why the door mechanic was installed in her office in the first place. We don't want anything like that to happen ever again. I hope this won't scare you away, yeah? So we did some digging today in the factory. Quite, quite, quite literally, actually. There are depths of this cellar that are unsafe and they are blocked off, presumably by Wario himself when he was alive. But we found remains of Wario, Waluigi, and the three known factory employees. Diaries, lunchboxes, toolkits, and the like. As for the employees that went missing, being two brothers named Mario and Luigi and a woman named Peach, we haven't found that much of interest yet. However, we tried reading through some of the diaries from the two owners, or at least what's left of them. The diaries are all torn up and dusty and much of the ink can't even be read anymore. But we did manage to make out some of Wario's latest entries in his diary, where he, 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 had, he basically talks about how he's very happy with the, the status of the factory, I can see. And according to a line here, it is much thanks to the insane profits they made from WarioWare, as he writes, which allowed them to invest much more money in this factory. While Luigi's diary was interesting for me personally, it seems like the two of us have had a similar experience. A certain type of dream, to be exact. You can understand my surprise, I'm, I'm sure. This factory is quite strange, don't you think? Or is that just me? Like a, a subtle wind that doesn't feel familiar is blowing through these corridors. I wonder if your father too felt the same when he chose to fund this reopening. Or if it's all just in my head. It's late now. I'm rambling again, sorry. Forgive me, Richard. Uh, tell me if you have any questions, yeah? Have a good night.
Good evening, Richard. It's uh, it's James here again. Listen, I'll I'll get straight to the point. Um, I don't know if you've seen anything of that which I'm now referring, but I've seen things, okay? So earlier today, uh, my eyes have seen things I still cannot comprehend. Uh, there are faces in these walls. <clears throat> One face in particular, Richard. I'm not trying to scare you away. Maybe you already know what I speak of, but you haven't said anything in fear of losing your job. I don't know. Sorry to dump all this on you. I've just got a feeling I cannot shake off. A feeling of deep, deep dread. Maybe there's a reason no one has bought this piece of land before Wario did. Thinking about it, I, I don't even know if anyone else than him were ever allowed to buy this land for some reason. I called an old friend of mine, and I, you know, anyway, I, st I started thinking, you know, about what I was seeing and the story about the factory and everything. So I, I called an old friend of mine, a guy who helped Wario set up his first cafe back in the 80s. I got curious to know more, you know. The horrific story from this factory, the things I saw today, the unfortunate set of events in the brand's past. Clearly, there has to be more to Wario than we originally thought, right? So, my friend, he, he told me that he too, in fact, had seen things uh, back in Wario's original cafe. Strange, unexplainable phenomenon. Anomalies. But with the rumors of the factory being cursed, the horrible incident in 2007, and the strange vibe we get from this place, the sightings I had today, the old caverns below this place, you know, one cannot help but make connections. 
and wonder if something deeper is happening. I don't want you to worry about losing your job, Richard. You can trust me. I too know there is something strange about this factory. It doesn't feel right at all. I'm on my way over to you right now, in fact. I'll take the night shift alongside you tonight, okay? I'll be there very soon. <laughs> Do you ever get that feeling, Richard? Like, uh, um... Like the air feeling off. The wind is haunting. Have I, have I been here before, Richard? Have, have we been here before? This dream... Is this now, Richard? Has this...
verdad valió madres. Thank you. 